welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy V, and, uh, tell me it's not just gonna be, like, a rule that I have to record this while I have insomnia or something. I have not been able to record this until now. I finally kind of feel up to it again. Been having this nasty flu hit me pretty hard in the stomach, so I have not very consistently felt up to recording. Uh, first thing I'm gonna start off with here is just... Uh, getting, basically, I left off, like, off-camera I did a few, a little bit of grinding, and so now I'm ready to just, like, we'll gain a job level as soon as I finish this battle here. So I can go over a couple more things. Yeah, you bite me with your front teeth, I don't care. My commentary is probably gonna be a little weird, because I have insomnia. I'm still kinda tired and sick, so, you know. I'm just feeling a lot better at the moment, so I can, can kind of record this. It's been long enough since the last episode. Bart's gained a job level and earned cover. Lena gained a job level and earned white level 1. White le white magic level 1. Galif learned black magic level 1, and Forrest learned sea passages. Which is awesome. So now... I can go ahead and demonstrate all that stuff. A little bit. Well, or just one thing. Uh... Bart's already took the liberty of learning white magic, so as you can see, I uh, put that as his ability here. That's how that works. His default thing is the guard command, which makes him not take nearly as much damage from the next physical attack. And, of course, white magic, you know, you can actually use level 1 white magic, which is pretty awesome. So he's basically a paladin. And then uh, Lena and Galif there. Probably gonna leave his black and white mages for now. But... Forrest, I'm probably gonna leave as a thief for a while, just because I like being able to run. I want to learn dash. But as you can see, if I equip passages on him, and turn him into something else like a monk, of course I can still see hidden passages, as you'd expect, which is nice. Um, the only other job that I don't have- the only two jobs I don't have in my party right now are Monk, which I'm gonna switch to later, I think, with Forest once I get, like, the dash from the Thief. And then, I haven't shown off the Blue Mage, which I'll do in a bit here, but the first thing I want to do... Well, is get him back on a Thief so I can run. Don't really need to equip passages, it's kind of redundant with the Thief, but whatever. Um, before- well... Okay, we're gonna get onto the boat for now and see a little cutscene. I did play ahead just a little bit, so I know somewhat what's going on. What's up, Lena? Er, Lena, what's wrong? The wind crystal is shattered. Now the wind's power is only weakening, but before long the wind will have stopped completely. After a few years, the sky will not stir. The birds will lose their place to fly. That's pretty terrible. Father said to protect the other three crystals. Three crystals? The crystals of water, fire, and earth. But what if they shatter? For a while, nothing will happen, but... Slowly, the earth will rot. The water will stagnate, cease to flow. The power of fire will be gone, and everything will be frozen in coldness. It will become a world in which man cannot live. We're going to protect the crystals! Oh, your memories returned? Nope, but I'm going to protect them anyways! Yeah, I'll go too. We have to search for Lena's father. You mean the King of Tycoon, who disappeared into that shadow? I know he's alive! Lena's father wouldn't just die! Bart, will you come with us? Er, pfft, wrong character. Bart, will you come with us? I was only a wanderer, but when I look at these... Sparkle, sparkle pieces of crystal. They're lending us their power so we can protect the entire world and the spirit of the wind. Let's go! To protect the crystals! Yeah! 
All right, we're on our way. Let's go. But before we actually move on to where we're supposed to, I'm gonna go back to the wind shrine because there's something we can get there. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I think to at least show off a lot of the classes I normally don't use in my usual playthroughs. Like I have kind of my own setup I like to go for with uh, job classes and whatnot, but I should at least show off the other classes a bit. I think I need to. If I remember right, when I in my like little bit of practicing, or not really practicing, but just seeing what's ahead a little bit, I didn't go as far as I could have because I was, you know, sick and whatnot. I think I need to get to the next floor to encounter the enemy I want to encounter. Oh, actually, oh, well, apparently not. I just wasted time because I actually could have done something on this floor. That's great. That's okay. We'll just kill these enemies. I'm so tempted to just hit the speed up key on that. Maybe I should consider that if I'm not going to edit things. Or maybe I should just edit things. Either way, uh, we're about to get to the next floor, so I don't really need da the dash anymore. I'm going to make everyone a blue mage. I'm going to try to show off more of the classes and whatnot, so... There's actually a blue magic skill we can learn right on, uh, right in this area, so I will go ahead and do that. I could, like, make, just make Forrest a blue mage, but I'd rather just have him be a thief so I can get around quicker. Alright, not what I wanted, but I can learn a blue magic skill from that guy, too. And I just did. Cool. Awesome. As soon as I finish this battle, we will learn Goblin Punch. All you have to do to learn a blue magic skill is get hit by it. Doesn't matter if you even survive or not, you just have to, you know, survive. Like, if the character that gets hit with it survives or not, you just have to make it through the battle and you'll be good. I'm gonna go ahead and give Lena her white magic back. Do that for parts too, why not? The skill I'm wanting to learn hits kinda hard at this low level, so... I want to keep everyone's HP in check, like, at max, because otherwise they are going to die. I mean, yeah, they'll still learn the skill, but I'd rather not have to revive them. And I think, now that... Yeah, since this is, like, the second battle where we've not gotten the enemy I need since switching to the blue mage class, I think I'm going to shut my yap so that I'm not missing any commentary if I have to cut the video here in editing, because I'll just, like, cut to the battle where we find the enemy I'm actually trying to find as blue mages. And I didn't have to cut it! <laughs> what do you know? It was actually right there. The mold wind is what I was looking for, so... Just kill the rest of the enemies, and then just kind of hang back a bit. And wait for it to use the skill! That was it! Arrow! Awesome! Did not hit Gallop as hard as I remember it hitting off-camera, but hey, whatever. So we've learned Wind Magic. That's awesome. It hits... you know, it's a decent spell. At this point in the game, at least. Not too bad. But I'm not gonna be using it for now, but, you know, whatever. So, Barts, you go ahead and be a knight again, with white magic. Lena, go ahead and be a white mage again. And Galif can be a black mage. You know what? I don't know, like... It's not gonna be that long until uh, we get the second jobs I actually want for Lena and Galif, but in the meantime... Uh, go ahead and make Lena a white mage with... Actually, no. No, I have a different idea entirely. <laughs> oh, you'll see. Uh... Forest... We're not gonna need, need to make use of the, like, running... Well, oh, okay, yeah, I'll make use of the thief just to get out of here quicker. But I think I'll go ahead and make him a blue mage for the upcoming fight. Now... Like, I'm trying to, like, maybe I can make use of blue magic, but then, like, it's not gonna be that long I'm gonna be able to make use of it, honestly. 
because I wanted to switch Faris off to, like, a thief and... or to a monk later, and once I do that, I'm gonna have to equip the run command, and I'm not gonna be able to make use of blue magic, because you only get one extra command, so... Yeah. Alright, I was debating what I should do with this next boss. And... well... I'll just wait on that a bit. I don't, I'm like... Going, I'm going back and forth way too much on what I want to do here. So for now, I'm just gonna let... Uh, get Lena and Gallop in the back row, I guess. Faris can stay in the front row like a boss. Yeah, I'll just go with this for now. I have white magic on Lena. No, I do not. Okay. Had to check. Oh! Blue Mage can actually not equip the rod. Interesting. Alright, so let's just go where we need to go and, uh... Fight some monsters and stuff, and then, uh... I think I'm gonna kinda handle this upcoming boss speedily for this, for the heck of it. Let's put that key in the door that we got from the old guy. Zot, I think? Bart, where'd you get the key to the canal? Whatever, why does it matter? Come on, let's go. Bart is nice, he didn't want to, you know, just tell them that Zot was hiding it from them and whatnot. He was just being a protective old man, I guess. Oh, actually, I might want to leave Faris as a thief in this upcoming fight anyway, just so... Just so, uh... I can try stealing from the boss, because I didn't- I have not, like, consulted a guide or anything to check what's up with bosses and whatnot, what they're gonna be carrying. Uh, those octopi, as far as I recall, are not weak to thunder like you would maybe expect fish-based enemies to be. Those krakens are, I know. Go ahead and scan the... Go ahead and scan him. Let's see. What are you weak to? Nothing! Awesome. Okay. So, uh... Bolt, then. Because I know the other two are weak to it. See, where the octopus only took, like, 10 damage, they took, like, 80 and 70. And that's less damage than they would have taken because the mad the spell is split up across multiple targets. That weakens the uh, effectiveness a lot. I'm not sure how soon we run into the boss, so uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and switch Bart to a black mage. And I will switch Lena to a black mage as well. And Forest, man. You know what? Uh, I so doubt this boss has anything that interesting, but whatever. Yeah, I'll leave him as a thief, I guess. Three black mages is gonna be broken enough. I'm not gonna make a habit of doing that for bosses, but for this one I figure... Let's just show off how broken it can be if you just, like... Make all your classes a specific- make all your characters a specific class just to deal with a certain boss. What is that? It couldn't be. The monster that was sealed in the canal. Oh yes it could. I'm losing control! We're being sucked in! Man, our boat is gonna get wrecked in that whirlpool. Thankfully not, but we are right in- right where the monster wants us. Sealdra, what is it? Stand guard, something's coming. Ah, oh, sinuses, stop it, White. Man, it's just been my stomach. Why do my sinuses have to act up as soon as I actually start trying to record? Yeah, you know what? Even in the pro even in- when I was playing ahead a bit, he kept going for Galif, the one guy I have who can do the most damage to him. So I'm glad I made Bart's and Lana Black Mages, too. Look at how much freaking damage that does. I wasn't paying attention. Did he just have a potion? Is that really all he had? Was it, was it seriously a potion? Oh, well. Blue 
look at how fast he dies when you make almost everyone a black mage, and Galif kept getting paralyzed, so he didn't even get to use Bolt. That guy would have died in less than two- in, after only getting off one attack if that hadn't happened. That's awesome. But we're not out of danger yet. Well, we are, but... Sildra! It's still alive! It's trying to take Sildra with it! Sildra! Let go! Let go of me! Sildra! Sildra sacrificed itself for us. How's Faris? I think we should just leave Faris alone for a while. Yeah, you're probably right. This ship... It's being cast away, isn't it? Faris? I'm sure Sildra's alive. With no wind to guide us, and no more Sildra, all we can do is just wait while the boat is slowly, slowly carried along by the waves. Where to? No one knows. <laughs> Time for everyone to wake up, because we've reached somewhere. Where are we? The ship graveyard. A home of undead monsters made by the remains of drifting ships that gathered. Well, whatever. Let's get out of this place. <laughs> You're awesome, Galif. Ghosts? Undead? Yeah, whatever. Who cares? Let's just get out of here. That is the right attitude. I forgot I still had everyone left as a black mage. I'll have to deal with that after I get out of this fight. They are all very weak to fire. So, uh, pretty quick way to kill skeletons. Fire. Alright, now let's get everyone, uh... Galif is- I want him a bl black mage for now. Lena, I'm tempted to make a blue mage for a little bit so she can have uh, something to use- so, like, so she can use the arrow spell whenever she doesn't need to heal. Yeah, I'll go with that for now. Wait a minute. You're not taking Bart's good equipment. Okay. Bart's can have white magic, and now... Alright, now let's re-equip her. That works. Faris, I'll leave as a thief, and, uh, yeah. Yep, we're good. Alright, let's move on. I love being able to dash. So we just gotta make our way through this graveyard of ships, and, you know, get out of here. This, this might end up being a bit of a longer video if I leave this whole area in, but I think I shall. I think I'll just keep going until we get out of here. What do these weird things have? Let's see, I'll just use Cure on that skeleton. This is one of the games in which you can use, you know, like, healing magic to deal a lot of damage to undead enemies. You can also often enough instantly kill undead enemies by using stuff like Phoenix Downs, but I'm not planning to do that. From what I remember, those weird-looking enemies were completely immune to, uh... Oh wait, no they weren't. Never mind. They're weak to fire, I think, but... Or no. Oh wait, no, I was gonna say, from what I remember, they're weak to fire. Or they're completely immune to fire, that's right. And uh, I think it's lightning, so you have to use lightning on them. Took a bit of a beating in that fight, so I'm gonna go ahead and use some magic here. 
bit of healing from Bart. I'll try and conserve Lena's MP, since she is kind of the primary healer. Her healing is a little more effective, since she's a white mage and has the staff. Also, she has arrow as well, so... Do you really want to go through here? We'll all get wet. What are you saying? Let's go! We don't have anywhere else to go. Let's see, I think I can examine that box for something. Nice, just a single skeleton. That's easy to deal with. You keep attacking those party members in the back row so they don't take much damage. That is why you stick mage characters in the back row. They're very squishy and can't handle a lot of damage, but in the back row they don't take much damage either. Oh yeah, there's nothing in that box. I'm thinking of a different box. Uh, let's see. I can barely see the stairs with these brightness settings, but... These settings kind of work best for the coloring in most areas, so... 990 gil in that box with the skull and crossbones. Must be a pirate ship we were on right now. I think I want to go in that door first. I think that's the optional way. Uh... Actually, I didn't need to do that. Oh well. Because Gallif's fire spell will pretty much wreck all of them outright. So I didn't really need to do any additional damage uh, before using that. Gallif is just the slowest party member right now, unfortunately. Alright. Lena gained Observe. I think that's a stand-in for Scan, if I remember right. Yeah, it is. That's not what I wanted her to learn, though. Oh, she's gonna have to gain a few job levels if, uh, isn't she? Yeah, I think she is. Okay, never mind. I'm just gonna make her a white mage. <laughs> That's cool, though. Observe is nice. I can scan things without having to use MP, so that's cool. It checks weaknesses, right? Yeah, okay. HP and weakness. I, I feel like there's some things it doesn't do that scan does, but... That's all I really need, is the HP and the weakness. That's good enough. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, there was something I wanted to do. I want to remove the shoes from Gallif and give them to Bartz, because Bartz is, you know, tanking in the front row and all of that, so he can use every bit of defense he can get. And maybe it'll speed up Gallif a little too, so he can use magic quicker. Phoenix down in the chest down here. That's all that's this way, so... As far as I remember. Preemptive! Nice! I will take the opportunity to steal. They don't have anything. Alright. No, Gallif is still the slowest party member. Well, whatever. Burn them! Because it is the best way to deal with skeletons. Ooh, I got another dagger. I guess I'll give that to... Well... Yeah, well, you know, you know what? Let's try that for a bit. I'll stick Gallif in the front row and give him the dagger. Now let's go down here for... Uh, I believe... Not yet? Okay. Maybe it's up here. It's time for... more cutscenes, actually. What? Oh! I've, that's never happened to me! <laughs> I, never, I didn't know there was a hole in the floor there, that's interesting. Alright. Let's go this way. Man, I'm soaked. This place seems safe. Let's take a rest. Sounds like a plan. I have to dry my clothes. Don't peek. Yeah, sure thing. Let's start a fire to warm up ourselves and dry off our clothes. Come on, let's dry our clothes. Like I said. I'm just fine. Really. How can you say that? You'll catch a cold. Come on, off with that shirt! Stop that! Hey, I said stop! Huh? What's going on? Lena... Forrest is... a girl! What's wrong with that? But why? Why hide it? I was found by the pirates when I was little, and they raised me. And you pretended to be a man? A female pirate would just get laughed at. 
Hmm. Hmm. I knew you were too beautiful to be a man. Hey, just remember that my being female doesn't make me any less important. I'm just as good as you guys. Yeah. Well, get over it. Time for bed. So my voice is not entirely fitting, but, I mean, I'm not really good enough at changing my voice up to where I could have done, like, a truly androgynous voice, like, one where you couldn't tell whether it was male or female, so whatever. I'm probably just gonna using rough, keep using roughly the same voice, because consistency. Ah, slipped well. Alright, let's get going. I'm kind of lightening it up a little bit, but I, I, I don't know. My voice is probably... <laughs> Poor Gallif. What are you doing? Let's go! Forrest's voice is probably not going to be terribly consistent throughout this LP. <laughs> I still think Forrest seems like a man. Eh, who cares? Forrest is Forrest. Yeah. That's the spirit. Gender doesn't really matter that much. Well, I mean, it matters for some things, but we're not going to get into that right now. Save point here, but eh, I'm not going to bother. I am confident enough in my abilities to survive this area. Yeah, we can go a little bit longer. I think I can get out of this area without the video getting too long, maybe. I forget which way I have to go. This was right where I stopped playing before because my stomach started bothering me too much from the stupid flu right about this time, so... Dagger you, cure you, because it actually hurts you, because you're a skeleton, and that works somehow. And now, bolts. Should be enough to finish off that skeleton, too. Oh, but not, the, not that thing. Not that car cursor. Whatever that is. Oh man, you can get elixirs from those? I'm having great luck with that, wow. I'm having great luck with elixir drops. Alright, I'm just gonna have everyone defend. Or maybe I'll have Lena and Bart's heal the party, because they're taking a bit of a beating. And... Once we get around to Gallus' turn, the best way I've found to deal with skeletons is to burn them! Burn! <laughs> Fire! Wee! All right, let's get over to the ship over here, and uh, what? Okay, where am I going? I don't remember this part. Crud. Maybe it was that other ship I had to go to. Uh, let's speed this along a little bit. I could just cut this too, but I should probably start doing that when these battles get too repetitive when we're fighting like the exact same enemies over and over. Since I was talking, uh, since I was kind of talking over this one, I'll just go ahead and speed it up a bit. Just speed this along. Get through this. All right. Ooh, that's actually a new ability that we didn't have before. So I'll let it go ahead and equip that on for us. It is a command to get away from most battles quickly. I'll probably not be bothering to use it much, but, uh, might as well equip it. Ah, okay. That's what I needed to do. And in here, we can find a world map! Awesome. I saw some stones over there. Can I hop across those at all? I do not remember this part. I can... And I can get a treasure chest, I can probably... Oh, that's what I needed to do. Okay, well... What was down those stairs on that ship, then? That ship I was on before. Let's find out, we're almost through this area. This video, I don't think, is gonna be too much longer than usual. Should be alright. Gain a, uh, I guess it's good I'm gaining a decent bit of experience, at least, as long as I'm kind of wandering around going, Where do I go? What do I do? I don't remember. Oh, that's a new enemy. What do you have? 
Psycho head. It doesn't have anything. Awesome. Man, I felt a sneeze coming on there. Thankfully, I did not have to sneeze. Bolt should be weakened less, since there's only two enemies this time. Wasn't enough to finish him. Have a dagger to the face! Yeah, gaining plenty of levels, levels and stuff, that's always good. Two antidotes and a phoenix down. I'm more happy for the phoenix down, but I may yet find a use for those antidotes as well. We'll see. Stop attacking me so much! I know that's your job as enemies and whatnot, but it's annoying. Heal everyone up a bit, and... Attack that golem. And let's try using fire. Not the best call. That's okay. We'll still finish him off somehow anyway. Actually, yeah... I was gonna say, like, I'll, I'll go ahead and try using, uh, kind of arrow, but I forgot I didn't actually get Lena to the point that she could use blue magic. I think I would have needed to gain, like, two more job levels as a blue mage to be able to use blue magic outside of the class, and by the time I gained two more job levels with that, I probably would have, al I probably would have already gotten to the next, uh, like, crystal, and... yeah. So, no, no, no real point in keeping with a blue mage class for Lena right now, I think. I'm probably not going to be using blue magic much in this LP, but I'll try and show off the class a little bit and learn a few skills. I made note of a few particular skills that I was especially interested in that I'll go ahead and get and show off. I just kept them in a text file on my desktop so I can remember when they're going to show up and be prepared to get them. Heal up a little more, because I know we're coming up on another boss here. We're almost out of this area. Yeah, here we go. Hop across these stones, and we're just about out of here. However, I've got a bad feeling about this. I said that rather calmly. Oh. Bart's. Come here, honey. Mom. Come here, says King Tycoon. Father. Lena? Uh... Forest too? Hey, it's a little girl. Grandpa, come over here. Who are you? I can't remember. And Gallus Amnesia actually comes in handy. He wasn't able to be bewitched like the others. There's... The other souls are being stolen out of them. Let me take your souls. Join us. Who the heck are you? Hmm. Why won't my spell work on you? I am Siren. I have taken the souls of these three. If you don't try to hinder me, I'll let you go. Sorry, but I can't do that. Why do you protect these three? Because they're... they're my friends! Don't be fooled by her! Open your eyes! Smack! Oh, there's a sound effect for it. I don't think there was in the PlayStation and GBA versions. Well, that was easy- that was an easy enough spell to dispel. Just smack everyone in the face really hard, and they awaken! I can live with that. Galif! 
Stand guard! Is that gonna be a catchphrase? Oh, you know slow magic, do you? Doesn't have anything. Alright. As far as I recall, uh, let's observe her, why not? Ooh. This form, as far as I recall, uh, has high magic defense, so I'm gonna just hang back for now. And now she probably has high elder defense as well, that's great. Keep Gallus HP up, and... Changes to Undead. In this form, her physical defense goes up a lot, however, she is now weak to fire. So burn her! I can also damage her with healing magic, so let's do that. I'll do that with Bart's. Oh, wow, I was gonna heal with Bart's, but I think... I meant to change Gallif's row, actually. Okay, first of all, let's heal Gallif, because that was a lot of damage. And I meant to change his row before, but I accidentally uh, just had him defend instead. Wrong character. I need to pay more attention. Alright, Lena and Gallif are poison, but poison isn't that bad of a status. They can live with it, I think. Alright, now let's use cure of Curative Magic, because that's going to do more than Bart's sword is at the moment. Let's get Forrest back in the front row so we can do more damage to this form. Alright, since Lena cannot really uh, do much... You know, since Siren switched back to her normal form and is not going to take damage from healing magic, I will go ahead and have Lena cure everyone of poison. Really? You're scanning me? You go ahead and do that. Nope! Uh, I meant to use Antidote, but oh well, that's okay. I'm glad Siren muted, like, Bart's and not, you know, one of my actual mages. Alright, she's back to Undead, so I'll just go ahead and go back to the strategy of using Cure Magic. Oh, now I can't use Cure Magic as Bart, so I'm just gonna have to deal with not doing much damage with the sword, I guess. That's alright. Burn! Oh, Lena's out of MP. Well, uh, antidote for Gallif. Crap. This is gonna be a close battle. There we go. If Siren had tried to uh, attack Lena again, though, Bart's would have protected her because of the Knight class. And I got a better shield. Galif, you saved our lives! Uh, don't sweat it. <laughs> don't be embarrassed. I'm not! <laughs> Everyone laughs except Galif. Oh, right, poison. I should probably do something about that. There you go, Lena. Alright. I'll go ahead and get into a battle here on the world map so I can show that off. So I can maybe show that off. Preemptive attack! Couldn't steal. I wonder what those guys have. You just chill there, Lena. As soon as one of these guys targets Lena... And fire is not too effective on these guys. Really? That big... That big threatening bull-like bull thing runs away? I was not expecting that. Ah, uh, let's speed this along a bit. Someone else has got to get to critical levels of HP sooner or later. There we go. As you can see, Bart's will stand in, will take the hit for Lena when she's, like, Bart's will take the hit for anyone when they're low on HP, which is awesome. You know, tank the hit and all that. Oh, this video did end up being kind of long. Oh, well, that's okay. It's all right for some videos to be longer. And for those following this as it is uploaded, you know, it's been kind of a long wait since the last video, so I guess that kind of works out. 
Now let's go ahead and use a tent, because everyone is kind of in need of it. You can see just the top of the tent sticking out of the forest. And just like that, everyone's HP and MP is all healed up and we are ready to go. Ooh. Let's get Galif permanently in the back row, that would probably be a good idea. Go ahead and save, I've got a backup save here in case anything goes wrong with this recording or something. And uh, yeah, I think that'll do it for this part, it's been well, it's only been like 40 minutes, so uh... I'll see you guys next time. Uh, we don't, I don't, we don't really know where we are, but you know, uh, we've survived our shipwreck in the ship graveyard, and we'll just keep on going, try and find somewhere. But till next time, take care, guys. <laughs>